Toys in Space by Minnie Gray. That summer night, for the first time, the toys were left outside. The sun went down, the sky grew dark, and for the very first time, they saw this. Everyone was quiet for a while, and then, what's those? They are the stars, stupid. Dang it, don't you know what the stars is? I don't like the dark. Ooh, I may get damp. I'm scared. It was going to be a long night. We need someone to tell us a story, said the blue rabbit. The wonder doll thought for a moment, and then she began. Once upon a time, the wonder doll said, there were seven toys left out in the garden. A resourceful pink horse, a brave small sheep, a strong little cowboy, a clever blue rabbit, a thoughtful green dinosaur, a helpful wind-up robot, and a wonder doll. Well, the sun went down and the toys saw the stars for the very first time. And then one of the stars started to grow. It got bigger and bigger and bigger. And the toys realised it was actually not a star at all. It was a spaceship. And the spaceship opened up a bright hole and beamed the toys up into it. Help, I'm scared. You ninny. I'm not scared of aliens. What's aliens? Well, went on the Wonder Doll. The toys were inside the spaceship and feeling a bit worried, as you can imagine. Then a door opened. It's a drooling alien. It probably likes to eat pink felt. It, it might draw on the toys. No dang alien is drooling on me. But somebody might get their stuffing probed and the toys saw a shadow in the doorway. I don't think anyone's stuffing should be probed. Oh dear, there might be an accident. No dang drooling alien is probing me. In came a space creature. What did it look like? Was it drooling? It looked rather like a glove, and it was wearing pyjamas, and its eyes were red from crying. What was it called? We will call it the Hoctopies for now. It looked carefully at all the toys. None of the toys was the one it was looking for. Lost cuddles, where is cuddles? West side of the earth, no cuddles, no, no sign, where is cuddles? The Hoctopies showed the toys a picture of its cuddles who was lost. It took them to the room of a thousand lost toys it had collected from the gardens all over Earth. Hey, you can't just take people's toys without asking. They all belong to somebody. They will be missed. Doesn't it know that stealing toys is wrong? The Octopies must send these thousand toys back. The toys helped the Octopies to realise that all those thousands lost toys had to be returned to their real homes. But how do they know where to send them? <laughs> Luckily, the Octopies was very organised and had labelled them all with their addresses. It put a stamp on each label to help with the delivery. Then they parachuted them all down towards Earth. Once they had gone, the Octopies sat down and cried it still didn't have its cuddles. The toys need to make it feel better. Then the dinosaur had an idea. They could have a party to cheer up the Octopies. Everyone had jobs to do. Blue Rabbit and Pink Horse made a cake. Wonder Doll and Small Sheep made party hats. And Robot and Dinosaur did the decorations. And what about the cowboy? What did he do? The cowboy organised all the games. Hey, you, stop. You're out. They played musical chairs and musical statues and passed the parcel. 
it turned out that the Hokuto Prize was outstandingly good at musical statues and won every time. What was the prize? They gave it the Wonder Dolls Medal as the prize. But the toys can't stay in space forever. <laughs> they need to go home. Someone will be missing them. Our toys have to return, the Wonder Doll carried on. They each hold a balloon to drift down, and everybody takes a piece of cake. The Hokuto Pies waves goodbye, and down, 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 through dark space, and into blue sky, and through clouds, and towards the ground, float the toys. The Wonder Doll stopped. The toys opened their eyes. The dawn had happened. It was a new day, and soon they would be found. What about the story, Ma? Does the Hokuto Pies find its cuddles? Will there be a happy ending? I do hope there'll be a happy ending. Dang it, you soft-headed reptile. She ain't made it up yet. Oh yes, said the Wonder Doll. Of course it will find its cuddles. It will be in the last place it looks. Things always are.